Happy cells and children while T cells wait till adolescence. Expressing CD19 or CD3, no myeloperoxidase. But a glycogen stain can be positive. Then we have chronic leukemia. CD5 and 23 and maybe deletion. It's chronic if the cell surpassed 1,000 and small if less than that. Watch for warm hemolysis and Coombs test. For the union of 14 and 8, linking IGH and MAC, germinal center B cells, endemic sporadic or immunodeficient, and a link with EBV. The starry's eye appearance shows its aggression, and in extra nodal sites it tends to stay. Watch our B cells making follicles appear in middle age, and follicular lymphoma is the outcome of this change. 14, 18, translocation, messing up BCL2. Lymphoblasts and lymphocytes are both in view. Meanwhile, diffuse large B cell lymphoma can be new or secondhand, and it's rapidly enlarging, growing wherever it can, living in the lymphatic's extra nodal liver speed and marked with CD10. Memory B cell mutation Arising nearby tissues with prolonged inflammation A marginal zone lymphoma or multoma Depends on where it's at Marsh 11, 18 can close that Parasite leukemia grows into the marrow and causes fibrosis, reducing space. CD11, C103, and an XMA1, and with trapid stains, garlic extension, skinny shaped nucleus, critic appearance on marrow biopsy. BRF mutations, this would mean. Hodgkin's lymphoma among these is a very special kind. Here, it's Stenberg cells invade the nodes secreting chemokines. Classic subtype has CD 1530, and that's it. Epstein Barr is linked to it, but who knows why? In nodular sclerosis, lacunar types of R cells pervade. With thick cellularity, inflammatory friends are made. Lymphocyte rich is better, news depleted is far worse, and also nodular type can occur.